comment. Yes? He plays the comment? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Not really. Why? Because he was playing the comment. Excellent point. And, and I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I, I mean, I agree with you completely. And, and that is, um, as you can see, he's playing the first flute. And I sit out for the first two beats. And so whatever he, one principle here is whatever he does, whether I agree with it or not, uh, a one rule ensemble plan. Um, I want to match it. Now, if I really disagree with it, we could chat about it later. Let me say, Mr. Lagerquist, I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it happens. It happens, absolutely, regularly. <laughs> and, and we can chat about it. Um, but I didn't disagree. Um, and now, looking at the music, are there reasons, obvious reasons, just looking at it that you think that Mr. Lagerquist's approach was probably the right one and I should match it. Yeah. Right. Good. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're all right. That's exactly right. There's another funny reason too. It says dolce there. Does, does anybody know what that means? It's an Italian word. Yeah. So, um, Sweet. No. no. <laughs> yeah. Um, just to, to change the subject slightly, but to point out something, did you notice that um, we both, and particularly Mr. Lagerquist, didn't play exactly what was written there? He added things occasionally? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There's even a reason beyond that, and that is if we could get. Tell him what he wrote this thing. Uh, we could transport him 300 years and into this room and translate from German to English and English to German. <laughs> um, we, um, and, and we were to play this for him exactly the way he wrote it, he would say, What do you think you're doing? <laughs> um, uh, uh, this makes no sense at all. Well, do something. Uh, because at the time, there was a, a different relationship. Performers and composers sometimes they were the same person, but even when they weren't, at that time, the composers would write down actually very little. And in the original parts, there probably weren't any sonatas. 